Greetings, Yumela, Saobona, Sakpase, Namaste, Upshin, Dubra Otra, Assalamu Alaikum, Hotep. Buenas noches, Monsua. What's good, people? This is Doriel and it's Larrier of the Doriel Larrier Show. I am back here. This is a special episode. You, most of you know if you follow me, I was in Kemet for a little bit and just got back. And I wanted to share some of what I'm going to call the Kemet Chronicles with you. One of the brothers who was on the trip with me and a number of other people uh, gave me a call this afternoon and I had already prepped to have these conversations. And I said, oh my goodness, wait, pause for the cause. Just hold on a minute. Let's get this sort of live and in person. So I want to welcome you to uh, the Digital Couch right now. And this is Brother Sam Murphy. Greetings, Brother Sam. Hey, everyone. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm so excited to have this conversation. This brother had me in stitches a little while ago, and I said, hold on, wait, let's get this, let's get this. So just for those of you who may not know, uh, I took a trip uh, about a week or so ago to Kemet. Uh, some of you know it as Egypt, but we're going to call it Kemet for the Kemet Chronicles uh, and or the Kemet Connection. And this is Brother Sam. So I'm actually just let him introduce himself for a minute, and then we're going to hop into this conversation that literally sparked as I was driving in the car. So, Brother Sam, where are you from, and how did you even come to knowing about this trip? And then we'll get into the Q&A. Okay, so how, how I got into the trip, hold on, I got somebody calling me here. But anyway, how I got, I, I, I usually uh, watch uh, different lectures that Happy has with Taki or Felicia. And uh, they happen to have uh, uh, Dr. James Small on there. And at the end of the, uh, the, the, the program, they talked about the trip going to Kemet. And uh, so here I am. And my name is Samuel Murphy, and uh, I live in Imperial Beach, California, uh, a rock throw from San Diego. I can take a rock and throw it across the street, and that's San Diego. Uh, I've been up and down the coast. Uh, I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, but I've, I've lived Ooh. in California for over 50 years. Oh, my goodness. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to get into this conversation. Now, Brother Sam, for those of you who don't know, he gave me a call uh, just a little while ago, and I was in my car, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is perfect. So we are literally still getting over jet lag. We we touched back down, uh, I guess, a week ago, let's say nine days ago, but realistically, I feel like I just got my... New York legs back maybe two days ago. It was it was a lot. So we're gonna kind of talk a little bit about the about the trip. Uh, I know that uh, brother Taki is watching, and maybe sister Felicia will pop on as well to just hear. So we're gonna just start with now. Brother Sam had me again in stitches because he said this was not for the faint of heart. If anybody is interested in going to not just on a hoppy tour, but going to Egypt. You need to get some exercises in. Like you need to get it in because it, it was a lot. So talk about that. And then we'll talk about two or three occurrences that we had on the trip that were just stitching. Go ahead. So how did you find it? Well, it, it, you know, I've been uh I left I've been a part of the military family my whole life and even to this day. Uh and I've been a part of different types of missions and operation. And let me tell you. This 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 happy trip to Egypt was uh, it, it was tough, and, and the thing that I admire the most the the camaraderie that we had because I wanted to tell Taki uh, that uh, he needed to send okay. everybody that was there a uh, certification about uh, uh, of uh, of this trip, you know, or being a part of it because I think he had forgot about there were seniors like myself uh, that were there. And man, we got run, uh, we got ran. And you know, I, my hats off to all the ladies and all the all the guys that were, you know, that had a hard time. We had a one of the brother. He was a doctor, and, and our David Murphy caught him. And I, I forget the brother's name. Uh, I think his name. Uh, he was from Brooklyn. We helped walk the doctor back to the uh, 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 to the bus. You know. But this wasn't for the faint at heart. You know what I mean? If I had had one of those little counters that the, the walk counters that you 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 count the, the miles and the steps that you take. Oh, like a Fitbit, a Fitbit. Yeah, yeah. it'll blew up. 
<laughs> it wouldn't have survived the trip, you know. Uh, it, this was tough. But you know what? The, 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 it made me, the camaraderie and the people that I met, and it was it was well worth it. You know what I mean? It was and, well worth it. Uh, when, when Emad said, well, we get you, you get your rest when you get back home. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, wait a minute now. You can't just run us like that. And we ran, you know, I never forget. Do you remember? <laughs> we only last week, so I remember. <laughs> you, you remember we got off the, we were on the, the bus on the tarmac and we was pulling away and all of a sudden the bus, the bus put on brakes and we like, we had forgot somebody. And you remember that? It was Beverly coming off. <laughs> okay, no, Do you remember that? To share those moments. We're trying not to share those moments. It was only once, okay? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but the part about it is, is that, you know, you had all these seniors with all the walking up and down in the tombs, the pyramids, the different shops and vendors. Man, this was not for the faint of the heart. It really wasn't. Was. It wasn't. It wasn't. But, 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 but they did share with people in the beginning. It's like, you know, and I will shout out to Brother Taki Grant and Sister oh, yeah. Harden. They we had Zoom calls in the beginning, a couple of like weeks before, months before to say, okay, look, this is what we finna do. Okay. Here's the itinerary. This is where we was planning to go. Now, if you did your homework, right? If you did your homework, you'd be like, okay, we're going to Aswan, we're going to Luxor, we're going to Cairo, we're going to Nala. We, as Sister Felicia would say, we, we was getting it in. We was yeah, we it checked in. off everything. We we saw it all. We saw yeah, it all. we did. You know? We really did. You want to talk about the hot air balloon? Oh, that was wonderful. I wasn't going to go. I wasn't going to go, and I decided okay. to... To go and that was a, uh, it was memorable. I would it, never, we, you know what? This was like a, a land, sea, and air. You know what I mean? Ooh. Hot air balloon. We were on a bus. We were on the Nile River. Uh, we were in the air. And I mean, we were all, I mean, this was a memorable trip. Extremely, extremely memorable. Extremely memorable. Um, yes, it was extremely memorable. So uh, I do want to ask you a question. Like, what did you think of the the mini lectures? So we had lectures from, and let's sort of get to the the um, the the post trip educational opportunity that you wanted to talk about. So we had one of our lecturers was M. Fadishi Jehutimus, who is a scholar on e on Egyptology, or excuse me, on on Kemetic history, Kemetic history, and then we had another lecturer from uh, Dr. Julian Malvo, who I said is my new auntie. Like oh. Dr. Julian Malvo, when you see this, if you have not already understood, you are the new auntie for Dorio, I'm just saying. So you were talking about, okay, when we get back home, like this is just the beginning. Right. We gotta have a part two. So what's the part two where you wanted to shout out the other brother who is a scholar and, and a gentleman down in the DMV area? Well, one of the things it, it's I think it's like a three part because what I'm trying to get together now and Dr. Malvo co-signed it because I wanted to uh, send an email to Dr. Gregory Carr at Howard University. He's Dr. over Dr. African Carr. studies. That's right. We, we're going to send this to you, Dr. Greg Carr. Okay. Right. Yes. Right. Y'all Howard, Howard folks, send this over. Mm -hmm. Well, what I was thinking about is having some type of uh, class for, for us seniors you know, we can get a certificate and put it in a nice uh, 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 a frame and everything that we attended this class from Dr. Gregory Carr at Howard University, you know. And I, I was mentioning to that to uh, Dr. Malvo, and she said, oh, that would be wonderful. You know, I'll I, I put my name on that, you know. So there you are, Dr. Carr. <laughs> we shouting you out. And put the, uh, maybe, I don't know if the quarter system or, or the semesters, but I'm, I'm, I'm we we can fill your class up. We, we'll figure it can out. We, so, you think we could do that, right, Doriel? We we could do that. We could do that. So yeah. I will I will I will do a little. So you know, Dr. Greg Carr again. Shout out. We love you. We appreciate you. We do see you in these uh, internet streets. Uh, working with Sister Karen Hunter. God bless you, Sister Karen Hunter. You are like a, a mentor in my head for me. So if you ever do see this. I watch you like 
religiously, right? Um, second to my own church services, if I don't go. And you are definitely part of my drive time dialogue, like on a daily basis. So when you have your show with uh, Dr. Greg Carr, and again, those of us who follow them on Saturdays in class with Carr, right? I see right. WC on Saturdays. So we're in that. Why would you why would you want a separate class for quote unquote? You said the seniors. Tell me about you being um whatever you classify as a senior, that you would want something a little crafted for your your beloved age group, your saved a lot of, age group. I think a lot of us are 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 a academically inclined, and what I mean by that, that have been to various universities and, and colleges. This would be, and, and not just for relegated to the seniors, but anybody that want to attend this class that would be set up on a semester or a quarter, you know, because uh, I'll be coming from California and I'll have to, you know, uh, put a roof over my head and have to go back and forth to class. You know, if I can take a trip to Kemet like this, you know, I would, hey, I would, I would look forward to the opportunity of coming to Washington D.C. on the campus of Howard University for a certificate program like that. You know, I think it'd be a wonderful thing, and it might be attraction for people in the future. You know, uh, we were talking about Karen Hunter and 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 uh, um, what is that? Narratives and 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 no, uh, what is that? Uh, it, Classic it's, car. Uh, uh, what is they call? They call no, Nubia, Nubia, Nubia. You know, yeah. Nubia and narratives. I'm pretty sure this will be something ongoing because he can take us from from the Americas to South America to the Caribbean to Africa and back to America again about historical uh, uh, events and, and, and people that we don't hear about, you know, the, the regular everyday folks. And Dr. Carr, he, I think he's amazing, you know, and Karen Hunter as well. So, and then you got Tony Prouty, he's right there in Washington, D.C. He's an alumni, you know, so. We got all the heavy hitters. We got all the heavy hitters. So I, I do want to say that we've, we've definitely added, uh, let's say, a new layer or the, uh, let's say, the next generation, you know, with Brother Taki and Sister Felicia and right. you know, the, the Emphagy Jehudimuses and, and all the other additional people who have acted as let's say cultural griots, right? They're keeping, they're keeping the story alive. They're keeping right. the narrative, all pun intended, you know, alive and well. Um, also, you know, we definitely have to give a shout out to our, uh, our Kemet partners and, you know, that being Imad and, and yeah. Noha and yeah. all of the people that, that Brother Taki uh, has coordinated on the ground who gave us just, I think, you know, fabulous outstanding exposure. out beautiful. I think the trip was curated, but again, the trip is not for the faint of heart. You That's got right. to have some good legs, <laughs> you need to have some good calves, you need to have your water, you need to be hydrated, you need to have your little sun cap because we was out there in them in the ooh, in them sand streets. We was we out were, there. we we still <laughs> have and Taki. If you listen to this, you need to put together some certificates that we had this adventure in Kemet. Cause man, I'm telling you, this wasn't a faint at heart. And I'm sure everybody, everybody with the group, we we love you and Felicia and the whole group, but we need a certification, a certificate where we can look at that and say, yeah, I did it. I was, I did that. I did that, <laughs> right, right, right. I did this. Listen, we all came back. We came back a little, of course, a little brown, a little more melanated. We came back. Our 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 calves were talking. Our thighs were talking. You know, the water we had to drink different water. You know, all of the things. It was, you know, I I had amazing food. I thought the food was absolutely fabulous. I love the oh, Mediterranean. Yeah. Uh, you know, fat. So I loved all the sweet things and all and all of like the you know the, the um, savory items. I just I loved every single drop of it. Um, of course. The mango juice. Oh, 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 oh. and strawberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I we I I had the time of my life. I was trying to explain to people, uh, like, oh, well, how like how is Egypt? And I was like, well, Kemet, first of all, yeah, Kemet. 
uh, it would just to say that it only rains like a handful of days a year. So the sky is always blue was I, I, I couldn't I couldn't really explain it. I had to try to show people pictures and I kept saying it feels like I wasn't really there because it was almost too perfect. Some of the mm. places were just almost too perfect because I've only had exposure in photographs and magazines and like National Geographic and that sort of thing or Time Magazine. So every single time I saw like, you know, the Sphinx, the, the, the Pyramids of, of Giza, the Valley of the Kings, Ramesses the Third, you know, the the that that temple. And I was just like, Karnak. Like, Karnak, really yeah. Am I really, am I really here? And mm. not until I, you know, touched and then walked inside and tried to crawl down that shaft. Like, what the heck was I doing? You know, all of that. Did I say, I still can't believe I'm here. Like, I, this, this must be Memorax, right? So it was just such an amazing experience. Again, I'm so glad that the coordinators put it together and that they've been doing it for all these years. I happen to have been like the, let's say the genetic come lately because I must have heard about this. I know I've heard about these trips years ago, but just didn't have the fortitude, the wherewithal to really put the coins together and the time together to be like, yo, I'm going. Yeah. So, and then, you know, you want to have a, a reunion. So I will say that I'm going to do the best I can to get as many of our family and only people who went on the trip know on this show to, to say the same just to talk about the same thing yep that's that's the part three to get us all back together again we can talk about our experiences and what happened beyond that you know after our, our trip to Kemet and up the happy the, the now so we got to change our vocabulary around again because the, the now is actually happy you know so yeah just so beautiful so i'm so glad that you were able to hop on with me and chat for a moment and you know um i'm definitely gonna make sure that this goes out to our group and it's gonna be on my platform so for the other people who want to come on to chat as well so hopefully brother sam family right you'll pop family on. that's right when i have some of the other uh my new brothers and sisters uh to come on and chat as well Okay. All right. All right. Thanks for having me. All right. Peace and blessings. And I'll chat with you soon. All right. Take care. All right, peace. peace out. Peace. So, folks, thank you so much for watching. Please keep your notifications on because I am going to have more of my family, my new family members uh, on in order to chat with us so that you can hear more about this trip. And this is with Akhet Tours. It's A K. H E T T O U R S dot com, com. The uh, facilitator is Brother Taki Grant and is a uh, uh, co partner in, in the work. And then is Sister Felicia Hardin. We are so blessed and honored to have um, that experience. And it will not be my last. I will be going again. And I hope when I say I'm going, please get your coins together and come on along with me on the Hopi tour, on the Hopi, which is what some people previously known as, as the Nile, and go to Kemet, which some people call Egypt, but we don't call it by its right name. So once again, peace and blessings. This is part one of my uh, uh, Kemet Chronicle, no, Kemet Connection, also known as the Nile, actually I have to change that, the Hopi Chronicles, I'll, I'll rename that. So peace and blessings, everyone. I will see you all on the next go round. Peace and blessings. My name is Dora Lennis Larrier of Learn to Grow You, where I plant seeds to help you grow. And this was one of my new family members who is inspiring, influencing, and uh, definitely bringing the word about there's a great world out there and we need to see it. Good night, everyone.